Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n and n into n plus 1 divided by 2 balls integer as the input and in n into n plus 1 by 2 boxes each box contains certain number of balls we have to print the maximum number of balls that can be collected from the boxes based on the condition the condition is the only box in the first row must be picked for the remaining rows, one of the two adjacent boxes of the next row to the previous selected box must be printed. This is our first test case. So, this is our condition. And according to it, first we'll have three. This is the first number. And then adjacent to three, we'll have four. And then adjacent to 4, we have 7. And after that, we have 5. So now, 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 5. gives 17 now we'll find the other way that is 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 2 because it is near 5 and it is 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 2 gives 16 and the next one is 3 plus Four plus six plus two and here it is fifteen and here it is sorry here it is nine so the sum is twenty two. Now we are moving to the other one that is 3 plus 2 plus 6 plus. So here we have 6 and 9 and here we have 2 and 9. So for the remaining numbers it is 3 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 and 3 plus 2 plus. 6 plus 9 and then 3 plus 2 plus 9 plus 9 and 3 plus 2 plus 9 plus 4 so these are the possible combinations so here the sum is 13 and here it is 20 and here it is 3 plus 2 5 and then 9 18 this is 23 and here it is 18 so now among all the combinations we can able to see that 23 is the highest that is 3 plus 2 plus 9 plus 9 which gives us 23 so 23 will be our output now let's see how to solve this program first we have to get the integer n as the input and then we have to get the box as a list so it will be in the format like we have to use strip of asterisk dot split off 
and after getting it we have to iterate over the rows that is from the row n minus 2 to the row minus 1 and here the step index value will be minus 1 and for the column it will be from 0 to column length of the box of the row and after iterating here we'll assign the box of row column plus to the max of box of row plus and here it is column so here it is row plus one so box of row plus one column comma box of row plus one column plus one and finally we'll print the box of zero zero so this will give us the desired output